All right, welcome to today's aftermarket trade recap. Getting into it today. Hold on, my OBS is lagging. Okay, we're good. Um, getting into today. So I was gonna keep it short yesterday. I actually want to keep it short today. Kind of the same thing as yesterday, as you guys will see in a bit. Um, but also a little different and some things I need to work on myself. So getting into it today, I woke up late. There really was no excuse about it. Um, again, I gotta hold myself accountable. Um, I would say there was some external factors, like my room being like a hundred degrees yesterday and waking up multiple times in the middle of the night, but still I need to go to sleep a little earlier. And that was one of the factors of waking up a little late. So I got on the charts, uh, or I did wake up around eight 30, but then I did fall back asleep, even though I said not to, cause I figured I would not wake up till after 10 a or sorry. Well, yeah, 10 AM Eastern time. Um, so yeah, I ended up falling back asleep, literally woke up by the time I had woken up, I got on the charts and I didn't really have any bias or anything like that, but coming into it a little after, um, once this setup here was playing out, I saw that I did miss this. Um, it does seem that we had SMT right here because on ES we have equal lows and on NQ we did break it. So yeah, I had the SMT here, had this one minute fair value gap here. Um, honestly, really nice setup. Uh, we had some equal highs right here which I mean, this could have most likely been the break even point, um, but this could have been as well too. Again, it's kind of hindsight because I don't really, I didn't take it. Um, but yeah, this would have been a really nice setup, a one to two, a little over one to two, perfect risk on the table, targeting these equal highs inside of this 15 minute um, uh, bears for value gap. And yeah, I mean, it, we and it would have worked out perfectly we came up here um yeah we actually i think we did take it out uh i was watching this too this soup in this in this uh i think this was a three minute we were holding um now th this was a good entry um but it's not really anywhere closely related to my model uh, it would have been another good setup. I honestly could have risked five points on this, but it's not like I trade this, but I did see this play out live. Um, I could have forward tested it, but yeah, I mean, I can't really take that because it's really not a part of anything that I take within my model. Um, and then, yeah, there was this setup right here. Now, uh, of course, I wasn't on my monitor at the time. Um, I did have to be on my phone. I was in the bathroom. Um, and once I had seen this on my phone, uh, I will admit I did hesitate on this because I think the candle had already closed and I could have gotten in somewhere around here. Um, but it was just the fact that I was on my phone and I also wanted to make sure that if I was, cause I was on Weeble, I was going to take this on my live and I wanted to make sure if I did take this, that I also took it on my combine accounts. Cause I'm really trying to have those as linked together as possible. If I do take something on one, I do want the other ones to kind of follow along with the progress on it. So I hesitated and of course, I mean, again, this would have been an amazing setup. Uh, you know, could have risked right above this candle. Um, what, that's like 10 more dollars of risk than what I'm usually comfortable with. Still not bad. Targeting these lows here and, or even the this low here. You know, another nice risk to reward, another amazing setup I could have taken, but of course not. Um, now, one thing I will say is I do believe now, just because of the amount of issues I've had in the past, and yes, I've kind of fixed on those things, and I'm talking about dealing with my live account and my combine accounts, I am going to withdraw from Weeble. Um, I just, there's a lot of issues I have with it of going back and forth between Trading view tops of X and Weeble, and then just it like if I was on my phone again, you this is kind of hindsight in a way, but I do believe if I was on my phone on Trading View, I can't really look at the charts on Weeble as well as I can on Trading View. It's just I don't those charts aren't as good. So this would have been a very easy entry to take on Trading View or through Trading View directly instead of having to go through Weeble and everything like that. So I am going to transfer my Weeble funds over to trading view and I have been wanting to do that for a while now but now today is finally the day that made me want to do it plus my fills on Weeble they, they were always terrible um it where it ends it, when it says like what my total profit is there's end up slip it ends up having slippage and that's not exactly what it is so yeah 
Um, anyways, here is where I had some issues with this morning. I did see this, um, not really high confluences, really just wanting to take a, or I wouldn't say revenge trade yet, just really wanting to force a setup here. Again, I had missed two amazing entries, one from not being on the charts too early and the second one from hesitating because I wasn't on my setup at the time. And yeah, I kind of did force this. I saw that there was this three minute, um, I believe it was also four minute two. Um, and I did end up taking this a little too early because I think I took it on the three minute and I don't even know where it's taking me. But yeah, I ended up taking this, was a little bit in profit and then just pretty much straight to stop. Um, this had kind of, you know, brought those emotions because again, for the past few weeks, we've been dealing with terrible price action. We started to get good price action on Thursday, you know, Thursday I was able to take advantage of, although I did make mistakes on Thursday as well. Uh, Friday, good price action, just no setups. I kind of already explained this. Monday, nothing I could do. I missed that. Yesterday, um, yeah, I just took that break. I missed a setup as well and also had a no entry. And then today, two amazing setups that one was my complete fault for not being on the charts and the second one was just because I wasn't on my setup at the time. So when you have all those external factors, it really starts to mess with me personally and I imagine it would mess with anybody else but it still comes down to discipline and self accountability I have to be able to understand those feelings and not act out on them so after I was stopped out this is where I started taking some stupid trades some stupid run trades I believe it was for a total of three now yes again I've already mentioned this before I had this happen um in the past I think I was literally talking about this on Thursday that I had this happen I at least like I didn't let it get as bad as how it used to be a year ago and stuff, but it still doesn't matter. It's still not, it's still bad of what I had done. Yes, I have really been good at not doing this anymore, but it's still the fact that I am doing it and it's happening. This is, you know, it just happened on Thursday and now it's already happening again today. This is where it's also, I think I need to take a step back and realize that this is not good, especially now that I'm managing live funds which again, I was on Thursday, but I'm just saying compared to a year ago, now that I'm managing live funds, it's a different story. And I think I am going to take the rest of the week off of trading live funds and see how much that kind of helps. Uh, Cause again, I'm going to withdraw and that's going to take a few, few days process period to withdraw and then put it in a tra uh, trading trade of it and get that all set up. So yeah, I'm going to take a break from live funds and hopefully that kind of relieves some of the pressure and everything like that because again it's just when i do miss these setups um and this is also not something i should do but i think about my live account i don't care so much about the top steps uh although i do want to see them grow when i miss you know 30 point setups like this 40 point setups 50 points whatever i that the first thing i think is like my live account and again that's not that's not good and i don't think about it too much anymore but it's still, I shouldn't think about it at all. It's a 30 point, whatever. Okay, well, I'll get it again. Um, that's how I should really be thinking about it and not really focus on it. So yeah, that I did end up taking three revenge setups. Thankfully, I didn't let it get too out of control. Um, there was a point on my live account, I was in some a pretty deep drawdown of what is normal, I would say double of what my daily loss limit is. And I was able to recover it off a trade. It was somewhere within this leg up or this leg up, but it doesn't matter because that money is, is not mine. I shouldn't have even had that. I should have really taken the bigger loss and then accepted that fact that I made the mistake because it's not good to win on uh, stupid setups like that. There was no entry, no conviction. It just was literally just gambling. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and then I think I did see something in the PM, but I didn't really want to take anything else. Um, I think it was here at 1 p.m. Yeah, I think it was this inversion right here, but I don't remember exactly. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Um, some big mistakes, some big things to work on. And yeah, I'm just going to take a break from trading life funds and recoup my mindset and really work on just some discipline things outside of the charts to try to get back into a focused mindset as well as uh, really focusing on waking up earlier now and going to sleep a lot earlier. So that's pretty much it for today. A little longer than I wanted it to be, but again, it's important I get all these things off my mind and get them into the video so I can look back on them, rewatch them, and understand my mistakes. So yeah, I will see you guys either tomorrow or sometime throughout this week, hopefully. Bye.